Welcome folks to Saxon House part six. I remembered the part this time. We're working on the gable ends and we've actually been doing some weaving for the, the wattle, for the wattle and daub walls, which is gonna be coming up in an episode soon. Dad is over at the back. He's just doing the, the, the kind of rear gable end. We're, we're keeping it quite simple when it comes to the gable ends. We're just gonna use sticks that I've had at the bushcraft camp. Um, it's all recycled, it's already pretty much pre-cut. Uh, where I used it at the bushcraft camp and it just makes sense to just use that wood rather than cut down You know more trees and things like that, which I've, we haven't done so far. So we're getting there uh, It's all dead wood. So it's quite hard to work with but we're making progress We're making progress and we're enjoying it learning very much a lot along the way as we do today We've got Jax with us as well. My little dog Jax. He's a little Jack Russell Terrier and he's at the moment He's doing exactly what terriers do which is digging around and some logs and a big log pile over there. He's probably looking for mice and rats and things like that. But yeah, we're really excited about this project. It's finally, we're able to see the kind of house-like structure now that the Saxons would have built. I believe most of their traditional gable ends would be vertical logs that would have been split wood from the ones that I've seen. But as I say, we're kind of doing this with our own little twist on it. So we're going with horizontal logs and actually at the back, we're going with vertical logs. So, you know, we're adapting and we're changing where we can. Just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone tuning in, I really appreciate it. And to all those guys who commented in the previous video about the ancestry and the DNA, uh, where we talked through our DNA and things like that. Uh, that was really interesting to see your an ancestry and your backgrounds. So thank you very much to everyone uh, for commenting on that. I really appreciate you engaging in this series. You know, it's great to see your opinions and your, you know, your thoughts on the video, really. So here is, the progress that we have made for part six, I believe it is, of the Saxon house build. Previous part was the battening or the lath up there, and then previously before that, I think it was the rafters. So we've made a fair amount of progress now. You can see this is our front end. We have our doorway put in there, and this is all Scots pine, and then we've got our gable, kind of gable end there really, which is just the standard log cabin look really. Um, so that's what we're going for. We've got, we are, we are going to put some form of small door in there at some point. This is the wattle that we started and we haven't done this specifically historically correct, certainly not even properly because uh, we should have done this with green wood, in particular hazel would have been the best ones to use. We've been using just offcuts really of Scots pine and birch that are lying around the woodland. The problem with this is it's very brittle because it's, it's pretty much dead that we didn't go for much green stuff, it's very brittle so it snaps which is why we've only gone for short sections this really isn't the way to do wattle and daub at all uh, it's just a very basic way of putting sticks between <laughs> to other sticks, this is not proper wattle but we're going with it and we're going to see how it turns out because again we don't have any hazel in this area now because we've not done this traditionally uh, you know with, with green hazel it means that it's going to make our life a bit harder when it comes to putting the clay onto the wattle itself uh, so we kind of shot ourselves in the foot there, but the reason being is, like I explained at the beginning of the, of the uh, series, we're trying to use all of the resources that are in this particular area. This is basically a Scots pine, full of Scots pine this area, it's coniferous forest with the odd silver birch, there's some chestnut, and then behind me is basically a load of mature beech. So we can't really use much of that 
thin material. There is no thin saplings like a coppice around here. So we're going with what we've got, which is basically dead pine. Um, and there's plenty of it. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're adapting. We're doing what they would have done, what our ancestors would have done, and use the materials that are around them. And then probably where they, they, they would have decided a better site, to be honest, to build their structures. They wouldn't have built it somewhere like here where there's not as many resources. They would have gone to somewhere where there's plenty of resources. So we're just going with the flow. That's what we're doing. We're going with the flow. This is our wattle wall and it goes all the way around the, the basically the bottom third almost of the house. It goes all the way around the house, including the back. Uh, that will be the next episode. It's going to be fun. We're going to be getting some clay and we're going to be daubing up that wattle and hopefully it sticks. And um, that's going to be a fun one. That's going to be enjoyable. So, yeah, stick around. I hope you enjoy the rest of the episode. We have war wounded over here. Dad's got an injury, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody had bad backs and, and, and bad necks? Sire took her up the neck, rolling like this and going farther and farther back, looking downstairs, down a landing with about 20 feet and something must have clicked. Not good news. He's walking like Robocop now, aren't I'm you? I'm, I'm peeled up to the eyeballs <laughs> and uh, he's got me working again. So it's, I'm not one <laughs> That's of, such I'm, a lie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you're better off working it off a lot of time. I'm not one to lay on the set either three days. Like well, I, I said I was going to come here on my own today, yeah, no, and you we, just said, no, I'm, I'm coming, that's it. I'll sooner work it off, yeah. So well, this is our doorway. We built this today, that's really, didn't we? That's the doorway, because don't forget, we can duck down because we're going to put a step down in here, so there will be, rather than jumping all the way down and putting my neck out again. <laughs> oh, like that, there'll be a step down there, and then way down. And look at that. Now you're in there. Look yeah. at the roof space you've got. Exactly, look. Look, I mean, that's... you. Your hand going up there is well up above six foot. He's got tape measure, watch out. He's got the tape measure. <laughs> Don't do your neck in, Dad. I reckon that's I reckon that's eight feet. Eight feet? I reckon that's eight feet there. That's a good height. We've got a good pitch on the roof, I think. Look at that angle. I think it's a really good pitch. Do you want me to go down to read it? Yeah, you can read it? Eight feet, 90, 98 inches. Eight feet. It looks, and look at the space in there. It's eight feet two, the height. That's good, isn't it? That, yeah, what, party in it. What that means, ooh, ooh. what that means though, is we've got even more roofing material to get. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, look at the space in there. It looks great. Well, Plenty bear, for two people, isn't there? Bear in mind, your cooking will be outside. Yeah. So you can have easily four people in here. Because people always ask how big is it, don't they? Always ask the structures. So I think it was 12, 12 was in there somewhere. Was it the width 12? Nearly, nearly 12 feet. So 12 feet, take, yeah. Easily take... 12 by 10, there. I think we went with, or something yeah, yeah. like that. But look at that. I'm really impressed with the pitch of the roof, Dad, that we've done. Yeah. And so what you've been working on uh, around the back here, should we go and have a look at it? Yeah, yeah, I've been doing the gable end at the back. We've got a fill in the top just here. Yeah, we've got that to do. finish that in, you know. But the thing is, you could put a piece across there eight feet long. You have to do the angle sloping cut <laughs> and the square cut. Yeah. And you think, I'm really piling on. But no, these still require the same cuts. They and do. The same it's a lot of work. Fitting. So we've got to finish up. Um, you know, doing all the the wattle, yeah, the down wattle there. at the bottom there. So that's t again time consuming because you have to go off in the forest and find it. <laughs> and because Mike had that huge book bushcraft camp with a hunting tower here before, he's cleared an area of rubbish, fall down stuff. So you've got to go further and further. <laughs> so and this is bigger and bigger. <laughs> we that's, do keep that's the trouble, yeah. So same thing. All this is all Mike's bushcraft camp. If you look in his bushcraft camp, yeah. is that the one Mike? Yeah, that's what I was tower? saying. It's all recycled wood. This is the same wood. It's under a tarp up there, trying to keep it dry. Jax is here to help us today, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's been yeah. ratting. He's, yeah. been, he's been ratting, so there's obviously mice or rats in yeah. there. Coming into the uh, late spring, early summer, so no real worries about the <laughs> Sorry, gaps. I can't. <laughs> you know, I can't yeah. just think dig it. Oh, no, cut there. Cut Giggles from it. <laughs> right, OK. So not too worried about these gaps here because it's late spring, early summer as we're building this. So a bit of ventilation doesn't go amiss. Maybe in the winter, we'll get all this done with uh, clay and straw. Yeah. Get it all filled out, stop any drafts. I'm going to get a fire and a tea going, I think, Dad. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jax is with us today, mooching about.
Thanks so much guys for watching episode six. Really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the series. We've had a good good build for the last, uh, this has been two days I think we've, we've spent doing this. It's taken yeah, two, two half days Two actually. half day sessions. So yeah. two half days, so a full day overall. And we're hoping to make some progress for the next episode. Like I say, which is gonna be clay, hopefully, wattle and daub, traditional wattle and daub. Uh, we've never really done that style before, so we, we don't know how it's going to pan out. I wonder who's going to do the wattle and who's going to do the door. That, that worries <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah, it should be good fun, but we've had Jacks with us today. Um, he's been good, actually. He's not been too bad, has he? We no, saw one, um, one monk jack yeah, right front, ripping actually. across the woods, but luckily he's, he's all right, actually. He's been pretty good, haven't you? Yeah, he's not so bad. He's getting a bit older now. He's three years old, so he's getting a bit more mature. But he's also getting a bit more into that hunting aspect of he he's wants to go off on his own. All over the log store, absolutely. There must be mice in there. He does. He just wants to go off on his own and just go exploring. But as you can see, it's we're making progress. It's almost almost time for the roof, which is going to be a monster project. Probably the biggest bit yet. But the walls will be next. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Dad's channel, TA Fishing. There's going to be a link in the description below. Uh, and any other information. If you guys, by the way, we really appreciate the feedback. So yeah, comments are good. So comments please, good. please do comment. Uh, it helps. It also helps, I think, with the YouTube algorithm somehow. But if you if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up um, and hit the subscribe button. If you're maybe not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Uh, tick the little bell notification so you can get and no basically get notified whenever we upload the next episode on TA Outdoors. And yeah, drop a comment. Let us know your feedback on what you think of the series or what maybe what you'd like to see here and also suggestions for roofing material. We've got a couple in mind, but we'd like to know your thoughts on what shall we use for the roof? What material? Yeah, what material shall we use for the roof? Thank you, so he's falling asleep in midair then. Yeah, he is, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's tired, I know the feeling. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys, and we will see you in the next Saxon House episode. Wave to the people. <laughs>